Oh hey, we're starting off today at the Home Depot. We drove to Louisville, Kentucky to do some Goodwill bins, but while we're here, we have an opportunity to go give a quote on building a fence. It's time to get to work, son. Is it? You like that? $14 on Amazon. I put it on and Granny said, that shirt's awful big. <laughs> <laughs> Those are fence posts, fence slats. No price. No price, it's convenient. We made a rookie mistake. Well, it's kind of a rookie mistake. We should always have a tape measure on us these days, but we left town just to go to the bins. So I didn't think about tape measure. And then found out on the way we could give a quote for a fence. So we gotta buy a tape measure. <laughs> I've actually got one of these. It's usually in my backpack. Imagine two giant contractors showing up to measure your yard for a fence and pulling that out. I definitely see the food now. Do I need to get a clipboard or do I just type the measurements down on my phone? Tough decisions. Hey. You come running, you're so jealous. <laughs> Alright. So we went and got the measurements. And I need to do some math. So I've got, so you know when you get into business and doing things like building businesses and doing some remodels like Dakota's doing, you know, Facebook and people you know is a really good place to start. So that guy's actually a contact we have because Dakota has long been in the dog breeding business. So that was a dog breeding contact. So you might've seen the pit bulls running around. Matter of fact, one of the dogs that was there is actually formerly dogs of Dakota. So we walked in the door and I was like, I know that dog. <laughs> I've seen it before. Uh, but we were actually able to throw together an entire invoice and send it back over about an hour after we left. So they've got a quote. Hopefully we'll be back here next week to build their fence and then actually come to the bins again while we're here. But we are at the Goodwill Bins in Louisville, not Clarksville, Indiana. We'll go to that one next. What'd you say? The first quote. First quote out. That's that's your first official quote with your name on the letterhead. How's that feel? What the heck? <laughs> I've seen it in my foot collar and why? There's a bunch of This isn't for sale unless you want to cast it out of clay, but if you just painted it all the same color, put that on the bottom. Oh bunch of VHS. Interesting. Thomas. It's all Disney movies. Part of the mirror and the jacket. Yeah, look at this jacket. It's oh, so pretty. cool. Embroidery on the back and on the front. I love it. A little scuffing on the neckline, but I think that's okay. All right, what'd you get? I got a cute little jacket, a pair of Vintage American Eagle shorts, which is kind of cool. Wow. And probably the find of the day so far. Some like sandy tan vintage Levi's. Yeah, they're a very interesting color Levi. Are they vintage? Yes, 90s in that area. Well, me and Dakota didn't find anything at this bins, but we're never going to. We never find anything here. So we're gonna go the one across town. The last Goodwill Bins is not really the, the true Goodwill Bins experience. This place is. This will be your first real Goodwill Bins experience, right? Yep. You ever been to one? No. Thank you. 12.53, they should be rotating right now too, so we might have some fresh stuff. Let's get Hannah out of her prison. Hello. Welcome back to reality. My butt's sweaty. You went straight to the furniture, huh? Two bucks. Huh, it's two bucks. Two bucks. Yeah, you want it? Yeah. It's not bad. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's stuff. It's all sick. Yeah. It's all broke. That's why it's two bucks, I guess. This one don't look bad. It ain't as can you get it back in. You almost died just now. There's a Ryobi weed here that's compatible with my batteries. The feeder mechanism's there. 18 volt weed eater. You don't usually find them all together like that. You might be grabbing that. 
sure if it's all together. It's not even heavy. Yeah, that's the whole unit, right? Or is it missing something that goes over top? It looks top? like it, but I mean, yeah, I mean, I don't know. Really, I just want to I don't know how it works, though. There we go. Oh. Yeah, it's yeah, all there. Yeah, man, we'll get that. Because I need to trim back some of the stuff outside the shop. Yeah, get that back together. Let's buy that. Oh, yeah, it's only got one place for one hole anyways. Yeah. Oh, okay. I really? I was wondering, like, there's only two holes. Yeah. Is that odd? Or is that normal? I mean, that's... I mean, I guess that's normal for this Ryobi one. Something cheap. Is that a rigid one? Is that an edge here? See, that's got to be missing some stuff, right? Kind of a Winnie the Pooh day. Got a cute little Tigger shirt from, I wanna say 90s. It doesn't have a date on it for sure, but the tag kind of tells me that maybe it was from the 90s. It is double-sided, so it's got the chest logo and then a big old back logo. And then I saw this blanket and I was like, oh my gosh, that's a colorful blanket. It's a Winnie the Pooh blanket. I feel like watermelons. He's cute. Dakota has a child named Owen. Do you think Owen would like a tactical Christmas stocking with his name on it? Look, it has his name on it. Probably. <laughs> That's crazy. Kendall's into getting Christmas stuff all the time, so I feel like that. Big, big. So I have spotted a couple blues, clues, plush that are kind of vintagey. Dakota, look, is that that's from Dora, isn't it? The backpack. This is that from Dora? I thought for a second it was from Blues Clues also. Might be. He's got something on him, but these are old and animatronic. Also, I found this gun case, but it's only like seven bucks on eBay. And it's like 10 bucks and it's real dirty. Uh oh, Nerf. Nerf, yeah. It's like a sling. That's real oddly specific, ain't it? Yeah. Gecko cups. Today will not be void of video game finds because there is a lone demo disc. It's pretty scratchy, but I'm gonna get it. Those are really cute. Coasters. Oh, we have a second one. All right, $9.99 new, size eight. They don't look like they've been worn before. I think we'll get those. I was curious if you'd go home with something. Are you getting that? You got a trainer. It's a big one. It's a good one. Oh yeah. Clean it up a little bit. For sure. That's nice. Still war or something. Don't those look like they belong on a puppet? Yeah. Oh yeah. We've checked out. I just want to show you guys before we leave. I knew this would be happening. We brought home a free organ the other day and I just knew as soon as I did they'd be popping up like crazy. Sure enough, dollar ninety nine. They couldn't give this away for free. Nobody wants it. I don't want it. It's not special like the one I got. Hannah snagged a rug for 15 bucks on the way out, and it's a good one. That's a nice rug. You into that? Kind of supposed to look old Persian. <laughs> I don't think I'm excited as anything about my, as I am my weed eater. Oh yeah. We'll, we'll test it when we get back to the shop, see if it works. You wanna see my makeshift bag? Your makeshift bag? This is how we recycle, man. It's a poo blanket. It's a Winnie the Pooh blanket. What the heck? You about to turn that into a hobo Eeyore bag. Killing the Plastic for baby. Right. I'll put this in the bag. Very nice. Today went all right because we actually left town. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> hard right, hard right. That's the color Blanton. Welcome to Big Time. <laughs> he's steering it. I don't know how he's doing it. Oh, man. 
we actually left town to come here but then on the way we got a call and we're invited to give a quote for that fence which was awesome but that did eat up way more time uh than we were planning on so we were actually only here at the bins for like 45 minutes that was a great 45 minutes haul for sure we need a rug clothes planting things so excited about this rug coda got to ride the cart I got, I got a colander is it a proper is it properly a colander is there a difference between a strainer and a colander or are they completely synonymous a colander is like the proper name it's okay like it's government name hannah did you see my blues clues toys no i loved blues clues when i was a kid <laughs> i've got enough stuff to start a blues clues collection just saying just saying maybe we don't sell it maybe we put it on the shelf yeah, we'll see I mean, they definitely go for a couple bucks each we're not five years old, so I guess we can get rid of What we should do is we should put it all on the shelf so that we get it all in the same place and then one of these days sell it as a lot. Sure, why not? All right, I'll take the cart back. Y'all come get me. I'm not riding it though. Don't hit me, don't hit me. All right, let's go get some chicken. You ready for some chicken? Yeah. Dakota's ate lunch with us every day this week on the job, and we're killing it with the chicken strips. <laughs> Pretty successful day. I think we came home with some interesting things to try out. Weed eater, rug, clothing. Hannah, you start showing them some of your clothing here. I'm going to get my weed eater fired up. <laughs> I found some pretty cool stuff. This vintage 70s embroidered jacket is probably like my favorite thing. I think it's really cool. It is super hot outside though, so jackets aren't a top right. priority. You don't want a haircut, do you? <laughs> no, thank you. It works though, that's good. I'm realizing now it's more of an edger than a weed eater, but I'll be danged if I don't uh, weed eat anyways. It'd be, it'll work for both, I'm sure. <laughs> Um, some vintage 80s, 90s, grayish, <laughs> silvery, taupe colored Levi's. The Winnie the Pooh blanket, which I'm very excited about. And these little saddle shoes were a surprising find. They are vintage. Um, I'm not entirely sure 100% what the year is on it, but I think it's 70s. Because the... Uh, the sale tag inside kind of tells me that it's of that era. I've seen sale tags from that era before. So that was like my highlights. Just a couple of regular jeans. Nothing too crazy. I didn't get anything crazy either, but the number of these I've already broken since opening up our shop is kind of ridiculous. So I've got brooms and stuff that already need to go on the edge of that. And then I didn't buy anything else too crazy. Just some toys. And there literally is probably two or three bags of vintage Blues Clues toys around the shop. So it'll be neat, maybe one day this week, putting those all together. Not gonna do it on today's video. That's a pretty cool find Hannah found. Oh yeah, I forgot about that one. Yeah, I'll put it in my bag. <laughs> I straight up put it in my bag. Uh, just weird stuff like this you guys aren't gonna care about. Speaker uh, connectors for the wall. Uh, Dakota, come Expl explain yourself. Is this, is this for wearing or? Spaghetti. For spaghetti. He's got two kids that are as large as we are. I bet y'all eat a lot of spaghetti. Yeah. Like, I, it, when it's spaghetti night, y'all probably eat a lot. Uh, and then, yeah, let's, Dakota, take this edge and go. I'm very excited about this. Where are you gonna put it? I haven't decided, but it's massive. You should put it in your office. I, I was thinking maybe I put it in my office, but it's gonna be disgusting if I put it in there, so I might take we, it to the house. You could sell that. That's probably a... It would need to be cleaned. You think so? But that is a really nice one. It's probably a $200 run. Uh, it does have a nice tag on the back of it, but I didn't inspect it enough to know like where it was from, but it's definitely not just like... It, it's a pretty modern rug. Yeah, it, it. I see a couple like grease stains or something, but yeah. it's not that bad. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with us. Uh, this video goes live on Friday, so we'll probably see you after the weekend. We're kind of doing daily videos here, but... I don't know if I feel like working through the weekend, so we'll probably <laughs> see you Monday.
Uh, until then, check some links below this video. Come join us on Discord. Have a chat over there with us. If you ever want to show us pictures of stuff you found at the thrift, etc., etc., the best way to do that by far is Instagram. We maybe check. I'm sorry, is Discord because we probably check Instagram and stuff like that once a month or something. So until next time, guys. Oh wait, Cutter, what do you think of the bins? Thumbs up, thumbs down. Oh, thumbs up. I always take people to the bins for the first time and say, "Hey, I'm gonna show." You. What would you think? I never heard anyone say it's wild, isn't it? Just, oh yeah. We came back with all this stuff for like 20 bucks, so. Pretty great. Find yourself a Google Bins. Until next time, guys, peace out.